Hi, I'm Chef Anaita Dhondi. Welcome to my life page. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about chef management and before I talk to you about that, I will be telling you a little bit about myself. I was born and brought up in Delhi. I'm a Parsi and I studied at Springdale School in Tholakwa. I studied there from nursery till class 12 um, and I graduated um, in 2008. After that, I went to IHM to pursue my degree in culinary arts. The BA Honours degree in culinary arts is only uh, available in IHM Aurangabad. Uh, and thus I chose that because I knew that I wanted to be a chef. After that, I went to Le Cordon Bleu in London where I did the Grand Diploma. And um, I actually got more finesse in my bakery and pastry and French cuisine. Uh, chef management is not only being in the kitchen and cooking, but actually managing an environment in the kitchen and in the restaurant. The first and the most important is food production. As a, a chef, the most important thing that you need to achieve in terms of education is to get the knowledge of every ingredient of every product that you might be using in a kitchen. For you, this could be uh, an interest in the Indian kitchen or the bakery and pastry or a continental kitchen or even an oriental kitchen. But the basic idea of food production is that you know your ingredients, you know how to cook those ingredients, you know the certain techniques which are used. The first is cutting and chopping and I say this to every person, every trainee who enters my kitchen and it's something that was taught to me by my own chefs. Uh, if you're not good at cutting and chopping, if you don't know your different cuts, if you don't know your different um, ways of chopping an ingredient, because each ingredient uh, has a different texture, each, in, each ingredient needs to be handled differently and thus has a different cutting technique, has a different cutting knife also sometimes, and especially in French cuisine, we use a lot of different knives for different ingredients. The first is job satisfaction and um, the first thing that comes to my mind is recently when I went onto a table and the entire table of eight people stood up and told me that we had such a great meal with your food, you've, you've been able to satisfy so many customers and I think all the hard work every day in the kitchen slogging it out makes it worth it because you see those smiles, you see those happy stomachs and you see them going back telling more people about the food that you've created. The first one is working atmosphere. The working atmosphere in the kitchen can be tough and I'm, I'm saying this to you out of experience. I have interned in different kitchens, in different hotels, in five star hotels. I have worked in London as well and that is before I opened Soda Bottle Opnawala. Uh, so I start my morning. I usually am there uh, at about 9 o'clock in the morning. That's when the kitchen gets opened up. Uh, once the kitchen is opened up, firstly, everything is cleaned, all the fridges are checked, uh, all the date tagging is checked, all the ingredients are checked, uh, if we're using anything from the day before, because in a kitchen you can't use anything which is more than one day old. Uh, after that has been checked, all your preparation begins for the day for your lunch service. All the um, major curries are made, all your meats are cooked fresh in the morning. And because this is an Indian kitchen, um, all your dals, your keema, your mutton, your chicken is prepared so that the flavor gets intensified as the day progresses. Um, lastly, at around 11, 30, 12, your vegetables are received. So the vegetables come in, vegetables are picked and chosen, seen what is fresh, what is not from the Monday straight by your supplier. Uh, that is usually about a half an hour to a 40 minute time frame from when um, you interact with your vendor. You tell him if you want something fresh if you want some new ingredient, if you want to know what's seasonal and local. Uh, right after that is lunch service. By 1 o'clock lunch service begins and lunch service is busy. It's about 100, 150 people who come into the restaurant uh, and you've got a la carte orders. So your kitchen is churning out one order after the other. Uh, and while the orders are being churned out, I'm also going on table, speaking to guests, getting their feedback and also helping out with any dietary requirement. If someone is lactose intolerant or if someone is gluten intolerant, we do help them out and we do have choices like that on the menu. 
Once lunch service is over around three o'clock, I sit and I have my lunch. Uh, after I finish my lunch, I go back into the kitchen. The kitchen has been cleaned up after lunch service. And again, pre-prep has started for dinner service. So I hope I've given you a balanced view on chef management. Thank you for listening.